Hello fans, this is Amitable, the unrepentant farmer here again for you. So today we want to go through the process of growing your chicken organically. I mean, without any synthetic chemicals that affect us as humans. So we are going to grow this chicken till they are ready for eating without any single synthetic fertilizer or chemicals. As such, we produce our own vaccine. Now, this is our vaccine. This is called Super Tagri. And this Super Tagri is a normal, we call it Christmas melon in English. Yoruba calls it a Tagri. It's a wild bush melon. It's bitter. I'll still show you the video later on. So we produce it down in those 10 liters. And we have our multivitamin also produced naturally inside this water. So this is our chicken. For us, I prefer noila this time around. And this noila is amo noila. Why did I choose it? Because I know they are the one that really <laughs> has noila in Nigeria. So before they arrived, we are doing 150. Before they arrived, we prepared down the beddings. Now this is how we do our bedding because we recycle our waste to feed. We don't just use them as money. It's our food for pigs. It's our food for dog. It's food for other local chicken that we allow to graze around. So this is how we produce their food. Now we release charcoal or you can make a biocap on the ground to help absorb some acid in the ground. And we don't use sawdust or wood shaving like many other poultry. We use rice bran. Rice bran is a food material that can be used to produce animal feed. So we use this. So even if our day old picks it and eat it, it's not harmful. It's still healthy for them. And this we have prepared water down for them. This is the first thing our chicken is going to drink. But meanwhile, I want to make sure that every chicken we are introducing here today has taken this water. With that, we will have zero mortality or minimum of 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 mortality but recently we've not had any mortality using this method and that's why i want to teach you this method so i can smile with us so when you receive your chicken this is our noila this is our branded carton please make sure you always get your branded metal carton please let me have the strange cones So, I want to be sure that every of them has taken this to be on the safe side. of what I use in preserving this is called molasses. Molasses acts more like glucose. It gives them energy. So even if I have a one that is weak, taking this, they will get up. So we are favored, we didn't lose any bed even to this transportation. So now remember what we said this consists of our multivitamin, super tagiri, and we added molasses. Molasses helps to give them strength. You can see that all of them are jumping around, they're all healthy and strong. You don't have any casualty. We just use this range to make sure that every one of them has taken a bit of this. The rest can still go to drink their water later. But we don't want to leave anything to chance. So when you're moving in your building house, one, you must be very careful. Because these beds are too fast. As long as they are, they are still very fast. So if you're not careful, you can match them. 
and they like to explore they like to find out things what's in this place what's in this place so we have put in their foot feet you can see they're all following me around now why do we use a red tree most of the feeders you see in the market is either yellow or red now they like attractive colors it attracts them to feed on it you can see them when i move they follow they just want to explore their new houses here we have their lighting we use automated lighting because they need to see everywhere they are moving if you don't have this in your building house your chicken will stampede on each other in fear and you might lose a lot of them and cry at the end so we use solar because this is a farm settlement and there is no electricity yet in this place so we have automated um, solar for this purpose now for the sake of respiratory disease we don't want to use charcoal we use our locally fabricated um heater so that's our gas outside connected to the heater this heater can take care of 1000 beds but here we have just 150 just for this research mm -hmm. so we're going to watch it and see how they grow we'll take you step by step until we sell off at christmas thank you about the nylon why did we cover everywhere to save our gas when you don't cover the places cold we catch them they catch cold a lot cold they catch them so to protect our gas we use where is the wait this is what we use to check the temperature and humidity of the house here we are seeing 30.2 so this is convenient we are not putting any gas for now so that's as it we need to control the humidity and the temperature you can see it's 30.2 so this is very comfortable for them we are not adding gas for now this is what tells us whether we should own the gas or not for here it's very okay so we keep it at the level where the chicken goes so we can know whether the place is good for them or not so we have here with you i just saw you here around <laughs> that's the life of a bird they're very inquisitive they want to know what's happening and you must be careful when a little hole they will just go through and they don't like death you must make sure there's no death and there's no water on the ground once you can ensure these things you can have your hundred percent free of mortality so this is day one we'll keep going until we sell the best Thank you. I'm Mikabo, the all repentant farmer at your service.